In this video, let's see how to calculate an increase in aggregate demand using the simple Keynesian fiscal spending multiplier. So uh, fiscal spending multiplier, pretty simple uh, thing to calculate. So fiscal spending multiplier equals 1 over 1 minus MPC. Uh, and a faster way to do that is just 1 over the MPS, which is the inverse of the MPC. Okay, so the value of the multiplier if the MPC is um, uh, 0.75, so the you can always know that the MPC plus the MPS has to equal one. So the MPS is one minus the MPC. So in this case, the MP, so 1 over MPS is going to be uh, 1 over 1 fourth, or you could say 0.25, but whatever. Uh, then we'll uh, multiply the, the denominator, multiply the numerator by 4, or sorry, by, by 4 over 1, or, or 4, uh, and then we get the answer which is four. Do the same thing on number two, and that's what helps us in, uh, in this one. We've got a $50 billion spending plan, and we want to know how much additional uh, government spending that will cause. So we first need to find the multiplier, and then we're going to multiply the multiplier by the spending. That gives us the increase in aggregate demand. Okay, so the fiscal spending multiplier in this case is uh, 1 over um, 0.2, okay. uh, which if you don't have access to a calculator is 1 over, that's 2 tenths, okay, 2 over 10, which is the same thing as if I reduce that denominator fraction there, that's, that's 1 over one fifth. That's much easier to, to deal with. Multiply the, the denominator, multiply the numerator by five, and I get five because the numerator will or the denominator will cancel out. So fiscal spending multiplier is five. I'm going to multiply fifty billion dollars by five, and I get two hundred and fifty billion dollars of additional spending, and that is the answer to number three. So. That's the step. So calculate the spending, the, the simple fiscal spending multiplier, multiply it by the amount of the spending, and that gives you your aggregate demand increase estimate, assuming no corruption or leakage.